Hey there guys, welcome to another video. My name is Sparkman. Whoa, my, <laughs> my voice is gone today for some reason. Uh, last night I seen this post on the forum about circular movement and uh, idea spread. And uh, Schrodinger, uh, he posted an example, which is really good actually. Whoa, he's explaining this in detail. Wow, that's pretty good. And uh, AE Never uh, posted a, um, an example too which looks pretty good too. He even posted a video. So let me just load the example and let me show you what it looks like. Loading left fusion. And let's run the example. So if you overlap the uh, sensors, they uh, chase you. And when you don't overlap the sensors, they simply fly into random directions. And here are the events. Um, now this is done properly. Now he's using loops. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, lazy way to do it, <laughs> or the Sparkman way. Okay, so so let's uh, close this. Now this animation is by uh, let me see who, who made the monster. His name is uh, Amkrut. So the credit for the graphics goes to Amkrut. Here it is. I'm going to run this, and you can see that uh, nothing happens. So I have a counter. I have another counter for some reason. Here is the sensor, and here is the monster, and here is my main object, which is a a direction object. The monster is a uh, bouncing ball, and this here is a um, static object. So let's go to the uh, event editor and um, let's start. At the start of the frame, we can set the first counter to say three. Make it bigger. And um, if the counter is greater than zero, then we subtract one from it. Let's set this to 30 um, just because we can. You can see that the counter decreases very quickly. I'm going to set this back to three. So every time we decrease the value, we are going to uh, create one of the monsters. I'm going to place the monsters uh, randomly on the X coordinate. Random range. From 20 to say 550. Try it out. That works fine. We're also going to create these um, boxes too. Those are going to be our sensors. We're just going to place those here, anywhere. Now, if you click on the monsters, you can see that they have uh, variables assigned to them. The first one is called ID. Now, you don't have to label them, but it's always nice to label them. So let's set the ID equals the counter, the first counter. We're going to do the same thing for the blue box. Set the ID equals the first counter. I'm going to check the ID of object 2 just because we can. Alterable values. And um, I'm going to select ID. And it's going to be ID equals 2. If that happens, I'm going to place this uh, green box. Um, above the monster and that's just to uh, test it so we know it's working so this must be two uh, one of these is um, zero and one so let's make this uh, zero and uh, we're gonna place the um, blue box on top of him remember we have three of those actually that box is invisible let me make it um, visible at start. That works fine, but we have three of those. So this is going to be equals one. Whoa. So I'm going to copy this. And let's replace it for the box. Now, I forgot to mention that the box too has a... Um, an ID 
a variable for the ID. And uh, let's copy this. Let's make this into a one. And let's try it out. Now we have two objects uh, carrying the boxes. Let's make one more. Let's make this two. And ID two. Now the three of them have uh, sensors attached to them. I'm going to insert a uh, comment and that's just to be a separator. I'm gonna copy line three and I'm gonna paste it on the line seven. I'm going to do an insert here and it's gonna be this object is overlapping uh, one of the blue boxes. Okay, delete this here. And if that happens, we're gonna make the uh, monster look in the direction of the green object we're using and maybe we can change the speed of the object to say 25 which is very fast let's try it out one of these is object uh zero whoa he's really chasing me there so when he's not overlapping the object then we do the opposite. We set the uh, speed of the object to maybe five, and we can send the object uh, in random directions. Try it out. I think it's this one here. Get away from the uh, object. Okay, so he gets stuck there. And that's because we need to run this only once when this loops. Maybe he runs a little too fast. Let me make him uh, slower. 20. And you can see that that works not too bad. Let's make the rest. Um, I'm going to copy this here. Paste it. And like I said, this was going to be the lazy way to do it. One. And one. And all you have to do is uh, change the numbers. So now we have one for object one. We have one for object zero. And one for object one. We just need one for um, the uh, third object, which is going to be object 2 set this to 2 now you can do this with loops um, but this is the lazy way now if you want 10 objects all you have to do is uh, make uh, 10 of these lines uh, there's no limit uh, Fusion has no limit on the amount of lines you can enter so let's um, run this Whoa, whoa, they are chasing me now. Get away. And now they all run into different directions. Let's make this uh, box invisible at start. I had an extra counter there for some reason. Let's run this. Whoa, they're chasing me. And that works not too bad. And tomorrow we start with Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. <laughs> Smack the like button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye now.